have just ended the United Nations General Assembly. The Babylon president, Emerson Munaga, was said his country's economy was the fastest growing in southern Africa. We are recording unprecedented development and economic success milestones. For the last three years, our country has been the fastest growing economy in our southern Africa region. Further, Zimbabwe is prioritizing the eradication of poverty and improving the quality of life of our people. But in Arare, light on Chamani depends on part-time gardening to make a living. The unemployed 37-year-old says the past three years has been difficult for him. I make so little money that I'm failing to send my children to school. I need money for school fees, for my wife, and for other obligations. I hope I get sponsorship so I can start music and uplift lives of other Zimbabweans. Former Finance Minister Tendai Biti, a leader of the main opposition party, disagrees with President Mnangagwa's assessment of the economy. He says the president is seriously ill-informed and misinformed as 79% of the population is living in extreme poverty. Uh, over a third, they have to rely on, uh, on, on, on food uh, assistance from the WFP and other UN agencies. Uh, more than 90% uh, of the population is in formal uh, you know, employment. Everywhere where you go, there is decay, decay in infrastructure, uh, decay in the mindset. So there's a lot of uh, propaganda, there's a lot of misinformation. This is a limping economy. Prosper Chitambara is a senior economist with the Labour and Economic Development Research Institute of Zimbabwe. He says Zimbabwe's economy took a nosedive in 2019 and 2020 due to cyclone in and drought. He is also concerned about the effect of inflation on citizens as well as poverty levels. Our currency has been affected by the inflation. Uh, we've seen a depreciation uh, of, the, of the currency. So the value obviously has been decimated by, by, by inflation. Chitambar is that Zimbabwe needs to increase production and stabilize its currency so it can think of sustained growth and reaching an upper middle income economy which President Nanga Guam wants to achieve by 2030. Columbus Bavunga, UA News, Harare, Zimbabwe.